this past weekend. Um, really like our effort, like our team depth. Uh, been impressed with Tony Easley in the, in the preseason. He's done some really good things for us. Um, a lot more active, a lot more aggressive on both both ends of the floor. And uh, our guard play uh, seems to be very solid and, and uh, deep. And um, Right now, B.J. Jenkins has a bruised knee bone on the inside. He hasn't practiced with us the last few weeks. Um, we're hoping to get him by the end of the week healthy. Um, we think he'll be fine, but it's a situation where it's so early now that it'd be good to just get him 100% before we get started uh, and bringing him in too early and him re-injuring his knee. With uh, your depth at guard, will that uh, put him behind any at all? You know, I think so. It helps that he was here last year, and it helps that he's a veteran. Like, he's played Division One basketball, and he does one thing maybe a little bit better than the rest of our guys. He may be our best shooter, you know, from the perimeter. But, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't help him for sure. You know, uh, I, I feel real good about all all of our perimeter guys. And the great thing is you could probably start any any four of them at any time. And at any time on the floor, we'll never drop down when we sub in. And uh, last year and even in previous years, that wasn't always the case. You know, um, Isaiah Cannon and Dante Poole at the one and the two, many a days is better than um, the other two guys that are playing. Or, or it could be the next day. It could be uh, Isaac Miles and um, even Jawan Long shows some promise. You know, it's, it's, it showed some good good minutes. So. Um, we've got good depth on the perimeter, and any injury, any setback is definitely, you know, put somebody a little bit further behind. But he's he's a veteran. And that's what's good about our guards; they're all experienced, to where uh, they should never get too far behind. Your injured guys, and I know early on, Jawan wasn't as mobile as you hoped. Yeah. Kind of an update on Dante. And uh, Dante's a hundred percent back. He he's better than he ever was last year. He's stronger. He's more confident. Uh, offensively, he, he's been very good. Even defensively, he's improved. Uh, might be our most athletic guard. With he got good size, um, so he's good. I mean, he's good to go. We have no uh, nothing from his injury is, is causing him to be slower. Jawan, you know, he's had days where he didn't move very well, and he's had days that he looked really good. He actually dunked the ball the other day, which was the first time we've seen him uh, get up off that knee, uh, but um, he had a good weekend. And uh, the back-to-back-to-back -back -back is something we were concerned about, but I, overall I thought his progress was good. Concerning the process, what's the one thing that, you know, you as a coach are trying to implement and control with these guys? Well, early on we're trying to get the ball in the post. We just think with Ivan Aska, and Tony Easley, and uh, even our new incoming post guys, that we want them to get touches. And so we've emphasized getting the ball inside uh, from that standpoint. And we've also emphasized really shooting the ball a lot more in practice, after practice, bringing guys in on, on off days. Well, them coming in on their own on off days and getting shots up. So uh, the, that's an area that we want to improve upon is, is our three-point shooting. I don't even care about his 15-foot jump shot. Uh, he can improve on that all he wants. He's not going to get many of them. So, you know, he, he's improved with his stamina and his ability around the basket. Uh, very rare that you want your 6'9 post guy worried about his 15-foot jump shot. So I'm glad he's gotten in better in that, but uh, we won't see that very often. Um, I just think it's maturity. You know, fifth-year seniors that have been in the program now, he's the only guy that's been here um, four years in a row. Well, yeah, four years in a row, and he's going into his fifth year. Uh, hopefully maturity and then just the, the way program over the years, it's improved, you know, it's improved his body, his work ethic, and hopefully it's just been maturity.